Hey everyone, Miss Go Electric here. Now, a lot of people ask me, what e-bike should I buy? And don't worry, I have an e-bike guide coming to you here pretty soon. But typically, I tell people, especially that live around in my area, that a fat tire e-bike is really great for the casual rider to be able to take it wherever you want and also ride throughout pretty much any season. Now, this bike I have in front of me here is the Multi-Joy Spaniel, and it takes value to the next level, but no e-bike is perfect. So let's take a dive into the features and then take it out for a ride. As with nearly every direct-to-consumer electric bike on the market, this bike here came partially assembled. Now, it took about 45 minutes for us to fully assemble it, but keep in mind, we build e-bikes all the time. If you're interested in building it yourself, they offer a video that you can follow along with, but you also have the option of taking it to your local bike shop. When we received the box, the bike was packaged well and there was no damage, which I can't say about all of my e-bike deliveries. One thing that was really unique though, is that Multi-Joy included quite a bit of free accessories and gifts. Those gifts included things like a hard shell that had all of my tools inside of it. And it also came with a hat and an Olympic style medal, which is kind of interesting, but it's cute. Now this is why I think that the Multi-Joy Spaniel is such a great value because it has all the capability right out of the box. Fenders included, integrated lights, rear rack. The only thing really missing, and this is being a little bit too picky, is a front rack. Speaking of the integrated lights, this one is exceptionally large and it is really bright. So I really like that about this bike. Also, let's move on to these tires and wheels. These are Kenda 26 inch by four inch fat tires. They look like they have a really great texture on them so that they're gonna be able to allow me to go on pretty much any trail. You'll notice that it also has this reflective material all the way around, another great safety feature. These fenders are made out of a really thick plastic and they are joined with these metal brackets that attach at the fork. And I really like this combination because the plastic is nice and thick where it's gonna be durable and easy to clean. And then the metal part allows it to give some rigidity and doesn't break off like some of my other fenders that I've had. The brakes are mechanical brakes and the discs here are 180 millimeters, which is nice and big and hopefully it will give me enough stopping power, but we'll test that out on the trail. The battery here is mounted on the frame and I typically like to see one that is integrated into the frame because it creates a much sleeker modern design. And you'll also notice that there is this tube that runs down and underneath the seat post. This is a step over design. I typically like to use a step through design just because it's easier to get on and off. So this is going to be a little bit more limiting for other riders. This here is where you would mount a water bottle cage and this bike came with one, but I chose not to mount it on there because with this step over design, it's already a little challenging to get on and I feel like it would get in the way. Now, as far as the saddle goes, this seems very comfortable. It's a nice soft material and it's really wide. This bike comes with a ton of accessories already, but they offer even more on their website, including things like biking gloves, helmets, locks, side bags, and a lot more. All right, now let's talk about this rear rack. I get quite a few rear racks sent to me with my e-bikes or they come with them. And I will say this one is quite a bit more robust than the others that I've had. This also included this elastic strap, which includes these three bungees. And it's really easy to get on and off, but it also keeps things tight. So this way you don't have to necessarily buy an extra bag in order to keep your items secure here on the back rack. The Multi-Joy Spaniel also includes this bell here. And I think that is a really great addition because this is a 72 pound bike. So it's great to be able to alert people when you're riding a heavy bike like this, that you're coming down the way. The last thing I wanna talk about is power. This has a 750 watt hub motor here that has 85 Newton meters of torque. That's a lot of power. And this has a payload capacity of 350 pounds and can support riders anywhere from 5'2 to 6'2. So it has a pretty great range. So far, I'm impressed. So it's time to take it out on the trails and test it out.
All right, guys, I am gonna start off this ride review going in each pedal assist mode. So right now I'm just manpower mode in zero pedal assist. And surprisingly for a bike this big, it's doable. I mean, my legs are putting in a little work when I go up the hills, but it's not bad when I'm on a flat surface like I am now. And I'm in the second gear, but if you do run out of battery, you have the ability to pedal it fairly easily. So let's take it up to pedal assist one. Wow, holy smokes. As you can see, pedal assist one is an extreme boost of power, um, already up to 21 miles per hour, which is quite significant for a first pedal assist mode. We'll see once I get past this playground. I'm gonna bump my shifting up, get a little bit more resistance. Let's see how quick I can get up to speed in first pedal assist. Holy smokes. I'm at 23, 24 miles per hour. Slow around when I come around this curve. Uh, okay, so what do the other pedal assist modes do? <laughs> if I'm already hitting 24 miles per hour, that's crazy. As far as the power delivery goes, this bike gives me a big push once it gives me the power from the cadence sensor. So it does take hmm, probably at least a full rotation of the pedaling to be able to give me the power, but then it's a pretty big burst. These uh, hills are no problem for even just pedal assist one. This is very high power. Interested to see what pedal assist two does. Let's switch it to that. When I'm going faster speed, it feels like a little bit of a push in comparison to the first pedal assist mode. But to be honest, it's not significantly different from pedal assist one. You can see I just hit 26, 27. I was going a little bit downhill, but the power on this bike is exceptional. For more of a standstill, the pedal assist to, I feel like it takes off a little bit quicker. Let's move up to pedal assist number three. Pedal assist three is definitely a kick more of power. but it looks like kind of the max sits around that 25. So that's what we have is three pedal assist modes and a really responsive 750 watt motor. Riding position feels relatively comfortable here. I'm sitting quite upright in comparison to some other bikes in this category. As you can see, it's very easy going on this light gravel trail. I'm gonna head onto the single track trails here pretty soon, but this is performing well so far, even on paved paths. Now, MultiJoy says that the top speed of the bike is 20 miles per hour, but as you can see in the pedal assist modes, I can get much further past that. But they do classify this as a class two e-bike. So my throttle is likely to hit only 20 miles per hour and will be limited to that. Let's give it a shot on the throttle test. I won't pedal and we'll see how quick we can go. From a standstill, it's a pretty responsive throttle. 
it's not as gradual as some of my other e-bikes. This is supposed to be limited at 20 miles per hour. And I just went down a hill, so it'll probably be a little faster than what it typically would be, but you can see I'm going 26 miles per hour easily on this throttle. Going up a little hills here, and it's still over 20 at about 22 miles per hour. So this, uh, this throttle, even though they say it's capped at 20 miles per hour, it does go faster than that. A bike like this has uh, so much power, but they include mechanical brakes, and I would like to see them include hydraulics because this is a really fast bike. The suspension is feeling pretty comfortable on this paved path. I'm excited to get it out on a trail to see how it performs, but it has 80 millimeters of travel, which is quite a bit. And these fat tires are definitely doing some work to make it a more comfortable ride, absorbing some of that irregularity on the path. Motor is relatively quiet. I do hear it a little bit, but usually with the 750 watt motors, they tend to be a little noisier than the smaller ones, but this one's not too bad. Just keeps wanting to give me power. This is a really powerful bike. All right, now I've gone on quite a few of the chase paths. Let's dip into the trail here. I'm a little nervous about this because the pedal assist one is so powerful that Makes it a little scary on tight single track trails like this. So you just have to be really careful. And that's also another reason why I would like to see hydraulic brakes. As I mentioned, these are doing the job, but the extra stopping power for such a powerful bike would be helpful. The suspension is feeling good over these roots. Very comfortable. There's no problem getting uphill or over any of these bigger tree roots. Ah, there's the paved path. I'm gonna cut off there and get back around. Well, I just finished up riding the Multi-Joy Spaniel and there are some things that I like about it and things that I'd like to see improved. So let's talk about those. First off, I wanna talk about the fact that this has a ginormous battery and is extra powerful. Those are the two big pluses on this bike. 750 watts and a 20 amp hour battery. This thing is gonna be a great commuter bike. It's gonna be able to go everywhere with these fat tires and I can ride it in any kind of weather. Value. Let's talk about that real quick because this is one of the best value bikes that I have seen in this category. It comes with so many different accessories, including the fenders, the lights, the rear rack. And I just think that at that price point, this makes this a very good deal, especially with all the power in the big battery. And those accessories are really high quality. So you're getting a bunch of complimentary items that are really gonna stand out. This light, extra big, very bright, this is a very robust rear rack and I like the fact that it comes with these elastic straps so that you can take anything with you without having to buy extra bags and things of that nature. This saddle is quite comfortable. It's wide, it is a very spongy material so I feel like it would be great for long trips. The grips are a little bit more rigid than I'd like to see but they do have a nice texture material on them so if I'm going on a longer trip and my hands will get a little sweaty then I'll still maintain some grip. But I also like the fact that they've included this material right here on the front part of the brake. That gives me a lot of extra stability because with these brakes, a lot of times they're that slick metal material and your hands tend to fall off, even when you're going on rough terrain. Considering the fat tires, this 80 millimeter of travel on the suspension, the soft saddle, this is a comfortable bike to ride. And the riding position as well. I do feel like I'm sitting up a little bit more, so there's not a lot of pressure downwards on my hands and through my shoulders. This here is the step over version of the Spaniel, but they do offer a step through. And I tend to opt for a step through because it's much easier to get on and off the bike. Now you might be thinking, 
I can sling my leg over just fine and this is going to be a fine configuration for me. But something to consider is that maybe if you have this bike for 15 years or so, you would want the accessibility and ease of not only being able to get on and off during that time period, but consider if you do want to sell the bike or if you want others to be able to ride it, it would be a lot more accessible for them as well. Now I know I mentioned that I liked the fact that this battery was really huge and long range, 960 watt hours, so nearly a full kilowatt hour. But another thing that I'd like to point out about it is that on the side here, it has a USB port. So you can use this battery to charge other devices even when you take it off of the bike. I love that versatility. And you also have a USB right under the computer here to be able to charge your phone if you have a mount here. Although I don't like when the battery is mounted on the frame, this one is really easy to get in and out. I like bike camping and to be honest, it doesn't get much better than this when it comes to considering a bike for that application. It comes with so many accessories, it's very powerful, it has a long range battery, and honestly, it would be a great match for that. I can't wait to take it out for an e-bike camping trip. But that all considered, there are some improvements I would like to see with this bike. Starting off with the power delivery. Yes, it's great to have all this power with the 750 watt motor, but I would like to have more variation in the different levels of pedal assist so that I could take this on more robust trails and feel safe in tighter confined areas. At this price point, there are surely some corners to be cut. And to be honest, the paint finish is really nice, but the weld quality is not so good. And I don't really think that the design is very inspiring, but that is a personal preference. Now also keep in mind is this has a 750 watt motor that is a non-branded motor. So it's not off the shelf. It's not like you could just go and buy one and replace it easily. You do have to rely on Multijoy to be able to keep in business to supply some of these parts that you see here. And I don't have experience on the maintenance side of working with this company, but with smaller brands, it's something that you'll have to consider in the buying decision. Overall, I'll have to say that I'm impressed with the Multijoy Spaniel, and I think it is good quality for the price point and has so many features. Long range battery and powerful motor, I can't say it enough. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these bikes, please use the link in the description below. If Multijoy sees that we're helping their customers find the right bike, they'll help support the Misco Electric channel. Well, thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.